All right, so we're back with part two. I know it's been a while, but uh, I had a lot of shit go down recently, so it's, uh, it's been rough, but whatever. I actually bought some new records since the last time I did this, uh, so it's not just finishing with the CDs that I did last time. By the way, the reason why the video stopped short last time is because the, the camera actually, the battery died, so I'm having to start over. <laughs> but uh, first up is Clutch with Blast Tyrant. And this is one of my favorite stoner rock albums. I mean, it's a classic. I would actually call it essential. It's just my opinion, but I love the artwork on the inside and on the outside too. It's just fantastic. And uh, the color is the vinyl. Oh, the uh, the sleeves on the side, they're, they're bright blue with some cool, some cool artwork on them too. Cactuses, got this little fly who's smoking cigarettes. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, the records themselves, they're just black. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. I don't know if there's different artwork on the other one. Let me check it out and see. Oh, yeah, there is. Somewhat. It's that. And I love what's on the other side, the, the clutch logo with like a microphone and guitars and stuff. That's pretty cool. Next we have one of my favorite hip hop albums that was actually released fairly recently. Uh, this is Danny Brown with Atrocity Exhibition. This is fantastic. Uh, I realize I keep saying that word a lot, but I mean, most of the records that I buy are things that obviously I really like. Um, yeah, it's very experimental, you know, it's not like typical hip hop, it's not what you expect, mostly in regards to the beats, but uh, he also has a very high pitched voice, which I absolutely love, to be honest. And I, I love the aesthetic of the, uh, the record sleeves. They're very nihilistic, almost very black metal. Kind of reminds me of a lot of noise artists, actually. Um, just the black and white, the high contrast, and stuff like this. Looks, just looks very nihilistic. And honestly, a lot of Danny Grant's lyrics, at least on this album, are sort of like that. Especially on uh, my favorite track, which is Ain't It Funny. Um, but also other songs like uh, Dance in the Water, where he's basically talking about he's he's playing with fire, right? I mean, he's he used to be a drug dealer in Detroit, and he got out of that life and became uh, a, a rapper. But he saw how much he was actually ruining people's lives, and how like that kind of culture just ruins people's lives. So that's like what most of a lot uh, a lot of his lyrics are, are about. Um, so Dance in the Water is basically him saying that he's like in that kind of lifestyle and he's not paying for it, he's not paying the price. Like the, the, the cops can't find him or the law can't find him and he's not actually succumbing to the same shit that the people he's selling the drugs to are. So it's very cool. I, I really like it. Um, up next, I don't know if I sell, put this one in the last video or not. I think I might have. Actually, I'm, I honestly can't remember. So here it is again, Scale of the Summit. Uh, their second album, but this one is my favorite because it's the one that got me into them. I love the logo, by the way, just the, the mountain there on the top. It's so cool. Uh, but it's very like eye-catching album art, which is what drew, drew me to it in the first place. Uh, but as soon as I saw this in the record store the other day, I had to get it. And What's cool about this one is that it's uh, gray vinyl. It's really awesome. My favorite song in here is definitely either Sargasso Sea or The Great Plains. The Great Plains is fucking fantastic. Um, really fun song to play in drums too. And that does it for the new records in my collection since the last video. So now I'm going to finish off the CDs, which I should have done last time if the battery didn't die. 
First is uh, Mastodon, with Cold Dark Place. It's their most recent release, their most recent EP. Uh, came out after uh, Emperor of Sand. And I think it was actually intended to be Brent Hines' solo EP, but then he just decided to make it a full Mastodon release. And the four songs that are on here are, are really cool. Although, um, Northside Star, I think, is my favorite, the first track on here. Yeah, that's a really good EP. Then it's this absolute classic. You don't, you haven't heard black metal until you've heard In the Nightside Eclipse, or sorry. Yeah, that's actually what it's called. <laughs> By Emperor. Uh, fantastic album. I mean, this is, this really set a lot of changes in the black metal scene, especially like introducing symphonic stuff, like a lot of keyboards, and the fact that Isan was, I think he was only 17 or 16 when they recorded this. Really, uh, really impressive, honestly. It's, it's a fantastic record. I keep saying fantastic. Next up we have Mandy Lion by The Gathering. And I will be completely honest, the only reason I bought this album is because I love the song Leaves, which is on this. And I am not really that familiar with the rest of the CD. Um, but I fucking love that song, and I think I, I'm in love with Annika Van Geersberg, and I think she's a fantastic vocalist. So, yeah, I really need to actually listen to this more. I'm more of a fan of her work with Devin Townsend, which is how I found out about her, but she's a stellar vocalist in her own right. Then we got ICS Vortex of Dimu Borgir fame with Stormseeker, his debut solo album. And this is really cool because it's it's like progressive black metal, like it has the vibe of, of Borknagar, which is a band that I would really compare this to, but with Vortex's incredible clean vocals on top of it. And I mean, I've never heard a vocalist who sounds like Vortex, he's incredibly unique. I, I love him to death. I wish that he would come out with a new solo album because this is fucking awesome, honestly. Then we got Voivod with Target Earth. Uh, if you don't know who Voivod are, where the fuck have you been? They're uh, progressive thrash from right here in Quebec. Jean Pierre. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I think it's north of Montreal, but I could be wrong about that. Um, I saw these guys, they came to Newfoundland back in 2016, I think. And I filmed their set. It was fucking awesome show, it was so good, and they played a couple of tracks from this. My favorite is the second one, Kluskapo.com, which is uh, about how a lot of Native American mythology is like inspired by alien encounters, which is not like a new idea, like the entire Marvel Universe is kind of based around that with like the gods from Norse mythology actually being aliens, technically, because they're from outer space. It's a really cool concept though, but these guys, I think that's a big theme of this album, is that kind of thing. So it's really cool, but this is a, just an awesome record, like really good, Target Earth. Uh, I can't really speak too much about this one because I haven't listened to it yet, but I got it for free. And I'm not complaining about that, apparently it's really like old school traditional metal. It's a uh, self-titled album from Ice War. The reason I got this is because the dude behind this is a friend of somebody in Mutank, who I also have a CD from. What's that? Uh, I haven't listened to it yet, so I really can't talk too much about it, but uh, I dig the album artwork. Really cool. And also the dude on the back, he kind of looks like Bruce Dickinson in his, in his glory days. We have Mutank. Saw these guys not too long ago, a few weeks back. Uh, thrash metal. You could say a little bit of progressive influence. Um, these guys are from Quebec, though one of the dudes is from Newfoundland, to my understanding. Really good. These guys knocked it out of the park when I saw them live, and this album is fucking sick. Well, I guess it's more of an EP, because there's only five tracks on it. But, yeah, I really enjoyed this listen. It's, it's got everything you want from a thrash metal band, you know? So... I highly recommend this. I also have this album art we're gonna share, which I got that same night, and it's dope. And then next, well, this is the last of the CDs that I have right now. Emblem Self-Titled. 
and most people who are watching this video probably know who Emblem are. <laughs> um, four piece speed metal, traditional heavy metal from St. John's. Um, John Cooper, Harry Clark, John Singleton, Andrew Nee. And these guys are really, really awesome. Uh, I saw them play live the same night that I got the Mutank CD when I saw those guys play live too. And yeah, they, they really know how to put on an awesome live show. Um, and they're really good musicians, really good songwriters. Like, I will say that some of their songs, they're kind of like drawn on a bit too long. I wish that they were a bit shorter, which like, for speed metal, that's kind of what I would rather have, like between three and five minutes. Um, but you know, a lot of older bands who play this style of music, they have songs that are like seven to ten minutes long, like especially Iron Maiden. So I can't really criticize them too much for that because it really fits in with the style. But regardless, I mean, they're really talented songwriters, talented musicians. Um, I shot an interview with them, which is also up on this channel. If you want to check that out, it's really cool. It's only about 10 to 15 minutes long, I think. And that's, it really gives you some insight into those guys as musicians, so I would recommend watching that video. But that's all I have for CDs. Now, something I forgot to mention last time is uh, I have a few cassettes as well, though I, I've not been keeping up on my cassette came because I just don't encounter them that often. But I do have a few here. Uh, first up is Black Circle with Behold My Visions and Wisdom. And uh, this is from Total Holocaust Records in Sweden. And I realize the cassette's not in there, that's because it's in my cassette player. Uh, really good. This is Black Plague with Under the Black Flame. And these guys are from Portugal. So, both of these are really good. They're very, very fucking raw, extreme black metal, horribly produced, but that's exactly what you want from black metal in the first place. I found both of these at, uh, I don't even know the name of the record store, but there's uh, a metal specific record shop literally just a few blocks down the road from my apartment. And I go there all the time, and that's where I got these, and like they were like five bucks each, so I, I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Next is uh, one of my friend's projects, actually. Well, it's an old project of his, uh, Raspberry Heaven with Nascent Meadows. This is kind of like emo, I guess. I'm not like a huge fan of it, but I, I think there's there's some energy to this this release. You know, there's uh, it's 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 sad, it's melancholy, it's sad, but yet there is still an upbeat melody to it, and or melody, but it's an up, upbeat atmosphere and energy to the whole thing. So I actually like this a, a fair bit. Um, yeah, good luck trying to find this though. Like this is this was given to me by him, and I don't even know if he has any copies left. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And lastly, is a bit of an odd one out. This is Stefchura with Messes. And the only reason I have this is because I was drunk one time at a show that the same friend from Raspberry Heaven brought me to. And it wasn't really my style of music, but I was drunk and I was I, I enjoy that kind of stuff more when I'm intoxicated. Um, it's kind of like indie alt country folk rock. I guess it's the best way to describe it. I don't know. All these new indie bands, they're, they're really hard to like pin down, especially the ones that play here in Montreal. But I, I enjoyed the live show. I mean, the, the front woman, Steph Schur, the woman who like, writes all the songs here, she's a great guitar player, great vocalist too. I really enjoyed her performance. So I was like, you know what? Five bucks for a cassette. How could I... I can't morally not support somebody who, who does this. You know, it's like... I just felt like I should. Yeah, that's the only thing I can really say. So, yeah, but I, I actually like this. Um, I don't really listen to it very often. It doesn't really get spun a lot in my cassette player, but it's still a good release. And that actually does it for my entire album collection here in Quebec. Because back home, I have over, well, I don't know if it's over, but around 300 CDs and like between 20 and 30 other records so but because i'm here in montreal i can't make a video about that 
I will do it eventually though, probably when I go home at some point this summer. But yeah, until then, uh, this has been me, Greg, Heavy NFLD, peace out.